There are two chests before you, each containing some treasure. One chest contains one copper coin, four silver coins, and six gold coins. The other contains three copper coins, two silver coins, and eight gold coins. Unfortunately, you don't know which chest is which. What is the minimum number of coins you need to draw to guarantee that you can identify each chest? You draw one coin at a time, and of course, you cannot look inside the chest. A common answer is two coins. Imagine you drew two copper coins from one chest. Chest A has just one copper coin, so you must be drawing from chest B. Congrats, you identified the chests. But imagine you drew some other pair of coins. You wouldn't be able to distinguish between the chests because these coins are in both chests. Since we want to always be able to distinguish the chests, this answer isn't correct. Two coins is an optimistic answer. It assumes we'll get the best possible draw. To find the right answer, we'll have to be pessimists and seek out the worst draws. So what are the worst draws? Remember, drawing coins that are in both chests doesn't help us identify them. So in the spirit of pessimism, let's draw all of the shared coins. That's one copper coin, two silver coins, and six gold coins. We can draw these nine coins without being able to identify the chests. Whichever coin we draw next, though, will tell us which chest we're drawing from. A copper or gold coin would mean we're drawing from chest B, because neither of these coins exist in chest A. While a silver coin would mean we're drawing from chest A, because there's only two silver coins in chest B. So we're guaranteed to be able to identify the chests after drawing 10 coins. That's the nine shared coins and one final identifying coin. Guaranteeing outcomes by preparing for the worst case is common in logic and computer science. Prepare for the worst with more problems like this at brilliant.org.